Hey guys, this is Priyanka. This is a continuation to the Google Maps series and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to display nearby places like nearby hospitals, schools etc. So for that I am going to use places API. So let's get started. So far we have created this much. So open the activity maps.xml file and click on the text tab. So here before the fragment and after the search bar and the button. I'm going to create a linear layout and for the width I'm going to write match parent and for the height I'm going to write wrap content and inside the linear layout I'm going to create three buttons so write button and for both the values I'm going to write wrap content and you can just copy this and paste it here. Then I'm going to move them below the search bar. And select the first button. For the ID, I'm going to write B underscore hospital. And for the text, I'm going to write hospitals. And the on click value is on click. And same for the second button. Write B underscore restaurant for the text restaurants and for the on click value on click and for the third button I'm going to write B underscore school and here for the text schools and on click value is on click. So this is done and you can play with the layout if you want to uh, I'm not going to do that. Now we are going to create three more classes. So right click here and click new and click on Java class. The first class is get nearby places data. Click OK. Repeat the same process again. And the second class name is download URL. And repeat it one more time. And the class name is data parser. I'm going to tell you what each class is going to do when we are going to work on that particular class. So the first thing we are going to do is work on get nearby places data class. So open it. This class is going to extend async task and it will take three parameters. So the first one is object. The next two parameters are string. So there is an error so click alt enter to resolve the error and click on implement methods and click ok. So do in background method will get added here. We need one more method. So click on async task and click control O and here select on post execute method and click ok. So this method will get added here as well. Then we are going to create three class variables here. The first one is string google places data the next one is google map so write google map m map and the next one is string as well so write string url and to import this class click alt enter so this class will get imported here now we are going to work on the download url dot java file so open that so this class is going to retrieve data from URL using HTTP URL connection and file handling methods. So the first method we are going to write here is read URL which is going to read URL. So write public string read URL and it is going to take a string right string my URL then write string data equals null string and we are going to use input stream and buffered reader which are file handling methods to read the url so write input stream input stream equals null then write url url equals new url and pass my url here and to import this class click alt enter 
as you can see the, there is an unhandled exception so you can click alt enter and click surround with try catch now we are going to create an object of http url connection so write http url connection url connection equals null and we are going to initialize it here so write url connection equals HTTP URL connection URL dot open connection so to resolve this error click alt enter and click on add catch clause so this will get added here then after this we are going to connect it so that URL connection dot connect so we have created the URL then we have opened the connection and then we have connected it so after that we are going to read the data from the URL. For that, we are going to use input stream. So write input stream equals URL connection dot get input stream. And we are going to use buffer reader as well. So we are going to create an object of buffer reader. So write buffer reader br equals new buffer reader. And we need to pass an object of input stream reader here. So write new input stream reader and here pass input stream. Then write string buffer sb equals new string buffer. Now what we are going to do is we are going to read each line one by one using while loop. So for that, we are going to create a string called line, which will store each line. And then we are going to append it to the string buffer. So initially the line is empty. Now write while, and there is one more set of parentheses, write line equal to br dot read line, not equal to null, then write sb dot append line so what we are doing here is we are checking if it is null or not if it is not null then we are appending it to the string buffer now we are going to convert the string buffer to string and store it in the data variable so write data equals sb dot to string and now we are going to close the buffer reader so write br dot close because we have read all the data that we need after both the catch blocks, we are going to write a finally block. If you don't know how to use this, then basically what try does is it will try to execute these statements. If any of these statements throws an exception, then the catch block will catch it and it will display the message using e dot print stack trace and if there is something that you need to execute even if there is an exception then you need to add it in the finally block so whatever we add in the finally block will always get executed even if there is an exception in some of the statements in the try block so here we are going to write input stream dot close and url connection dot disconnect so here there is one more unhandled exception for this i'm going to add throws here so throws io exception so this error is no longer there now we need to return the data variable now our download url class is done data return from web will be in json format and we can get this data using http url connection so now we are going to work on get nearby places data class here in the do in background method right m map equals google map and here write objects zero objects is the parameter that we passed in do in background method and write url equals string objects one now we are going to create an object of download url class with, that we just created so write download url 
download url equals new download url and now write google places data equals download url dot read url and here we are passing a string so write url now this is throwing an exception so press alt enter and click on surround with try catch after this we are going to return google places data so remove null and write google places data make sure that you do this otherwise your application will throw some weird errors and you won't be able to find out where the error is now we are going to work on the data parser class so open it and here we are going to create three methods so the first method is get place so write private hash map and it is going to take two strings get place and it is going to take json object google place json and here we are going to create an object of hash map so write hash map string string google place map equals new hash map so we are going to store all the parameters using string so write string place name equals dash any dash and this is in double quotes then create string vicinity equals dash any dash in double quotes then string latitude equals empty string string longitude equals empty string string reference equals empty strings so these are the five strings that we created now we are going to write if not google place json dot is null and pass name here so basically if it is not null then we are going to write place name equals google place json dot get string name there is an unhandled exceptions so click alt enter and click on surround with try catch then i am going to surround everything the whole if block with try catch so i am going to remove it from here so whole if block will be inside the try block and after that there will be a catch block then we are going to write one more if statement so write if not google place station dot is null vicinity then we are going to write vicinity equals google place json dot get string and pass vicinity here after this for the latitude and longitude write latitude equals google place json dot get json object and here pass geometry in double quotes dot get json object and pass location in double quotes dot get string and pass lat for lat and you can just copy this and paste it and instead of latitude write longitude and here instead of lat write lng for longitude then for the reference write reference equals google place json dot get string and pass reference in double quotes then after fetching all the data we are going to put it in the google places map that is the hash map that we just created so write google places map dot put and here write place underscore name comma place name same for all the other things so write google place map dot put vicinity 
comma vicinity google place map dot put lat comma latitude google place map dot put lng comma longitude and google place map dot put reference comma reference so this method is done and the only thing we need to do is return this hash map so after everything write return google place map google places map so this is it for today thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a thumbs up bye